now let's come back and solve, <coughs> solve or learn the important concepts of GOC that is the first important thing that is inductive effect so here I'll be giving you different different examples how to do the increasing order decreasing order of acidic strength basic strength and everything based on the inductive effect but based on the carbocation everything I'll be doing it observe the video carefully right so whenever inductive effect I have whenever I have to study inductive effect what is the first important thing you have to remember it is a permanent effect right so remember this concept what is this it is a permanent effect where when uh, when does this occur where or where does this occur this is going to operate or this inductive effect operates only in polar covalent mode right in observed in polar covalent bonds right so right so now whenever uh, like uh, how is this uh, happening there is an you know development of positive partial positive charge and partial negative charge because uh, the, there is a drift of shared pair of electrons towards because you have one element I will give you certain examples the, the more electronegative element towards the more electronegative element there is a drift or shift of electrons when the shift of electrons towards the more electronegative element what will happen there is a formation of certain fractional charges or formation of charges both the partial positive charge and negative charge because the difference in electronegativity will be there isn't it the electronegative atom tries to drag the electron density so that will uh, get the partial positive uh, sorry negative charge and the one which has lost the electrons will get partial positive charge right fine now suppose when a carbon atom is bonded to hydrogen and there is another carbon atom bonded to another carbon atom right by a covalent bond such as alkanes now how will that be then how will you speak in terms of uh, electro this and there is no electronegativity because both are same isn't it it's carbon and carbon how will you speak so that let me start now fine so hope you understood the difference in electricity negativity creates the charges this charges may be partial that is that will be a partial positive and negative charge and sometimes small fractional charges also can exist suppose if I have a condition like this let me take an exam example suppose if I have carbon hydrogen in this case or if I have or the same thing if I write like this with pair of electron now what will happen here what type of sharing you will have it is symmetrical sharing of electron pair symmetrical because the there's no difference in electronegativity symmetrical sharing of electron pair this will happen right now suppose if I have carbon carbon like this or the same thing I can write it as carbon bond carbon now what will happen here also here also symmetrical sharing of electron pair symmetrical sharing of electron pair because there is no difference in electron activity but now in this case suppose if you have an electronegative atom present now or if I have to write like this it is X okay dot two electrons now this is electronegative this will drag the electron density towards itself right so what will happen this will get partial positive charge this will get partial negative charge now because of this origin of fractional charges due to greater electronegativity of uh, the halogen will happen now that's why they get this here equal sharing here also equal sharing but here it is unequal sharing correct yes so what you did remember now the direction of displacement if you have to show like uh, how is it uh, shown from when it is shifting you have electronegative atom how is this uh, shown the direction of displacement of charges direction of displacement is shown in this way of dis displacement is shown by an arrow head right what am i trying to explain suppose if you have one like this one carbon one more carbon one more carbon one more chlorine here hel hel electronegative atom so let me name this as c1 name this as c2 because we'll start from the functional group c2 c3 and this is c4 you're going to show it by an arrow head in this way arrow head we call it as arrow head electronegativity is dragged so this is going to drag the electron density negative charge this will get one positive charge this will be getting then this will attain and this and further so the electron density is dragged towards us right so the, this is the direction of displacement correct now the inductive effect of an atom or a group of atoms right it decreases with distance the first important point you have to remember inductive effect decreases with distance as a distance increases means farther and farther the inductive effect decreases right in fact uh, like uh, if i have to speak it is almost negligible beyond you know two sec <coughs> second 
beyond third from here only the inductive effect starts decreasing so inductive effect de decreases with distance so remember this keyword right if they give you in this right so um, yeah, basically inductive effect it does not involve actual transfer of electrons right from one atom to another but it is only displacing them permanently it will displace them permanently not actual transfer but displacing them permanently permanent effect i said now suppose uh, again in this inductive effect of is of two types minus i effect and plus i effect right so groups with minus i effect now what are they let us see the uh, examples in o2 is greater than cn greater than COH. These are all electron withdrawing groups. These are all electron releasing groups. Remember this. So electron releasing groups, electron withdrawing groups. Right. In that order, I'm writing. Greater than CO, then fluorine, greater than chlorine, greater than bromine, greater than iron, greater than OCH3, greater than C6H5. Right. So this is the decreasing order. So this is the maximum. This is minimum. Now plus I effect electron releasing groups like now tertiary will be more alkyl groups greater CH3 greater than C2H5 greater than CH3 greater than H. So this is a decreasing order of yeah plus I effect. This is a decreasing order. We are, this is maximum. This is decreasing order of this, right? So the phenomena of inductive effect is like, uh, no. Uh, I can use this concept to explain different different examples. Let me come back and explain you. Now this is the basic concept of inductive effect. Now with this I'll try to explain different different concepts. Right. Now based on the inductive effect right that concept of inductive effect and now i'm going to show you how to apply that inductive effect in different different examples now let us uh, speak the relative uh, reactivity of alkyl halides i'm using the inductive effect only in all these concepts i'll be explaining many uh, different examples on this now so now what is it uh, based inductive effect means difference in electronegativity correct yes so now based if you have an halogen atom alkyl halides halogen atom if i have two examples like this now ch3 cl right so now uh, how should i uh, write now this particular thing has an electronegative atom so how can i write this i can write this as ch3 the electron density shifts isn't it that means the arrowhead like this in this way in this way ch3 c l this way isn't it so what will happen it will get a partial positive charge and this will get a partial negative charge isn't it yes so what is that the site uh, for that the, uh, now which is uh, this one this is deficient now this is the site for the attack of electron rich reagent electron rich reagent will attack this because if this is already deficient and further reaction happens now what will happen the presence of halogen atom in the molecule yes of alkyl halide it creates a load a center for load density which is radially attacked by negatively charged reagents because this tries to pull the electrons it will create low uh, this one it will create the deficiency here so what is this site this is a site for attack of electron rich reagent this is a concept now this is for reactivity of alkyl halides. Now, when I speak in terms of dipole moment, now what is what is important? As the inductive effect increases, dipole moment also increases. This is the important concept which you should remember. What did what did I say I just now? As inductive effect increases, dipole moment value also increases. Remember this concept. Yes. So based on that, if I have to take CH three I, CH three Br. CH3Cl, right? Again, this is electronegative. It drags the electron density. This is also electronegative. This drags the electron density. This is electronegative. This drags the electron density. So, among all these, which is highly electronegative, the fluorine, chlorine. So, higher uh, the electronegativity, more is the drag. When more is the drag, the dipole moment also will be maximum. So, this is 8.1.83. Okay, d by. This is 1.79 d by. This is 1.64 d by right so what is this the electronegativity value this is okay if i have to say less then this is less so the same concept higher the electronegativity or more is electronegative atom higher is the inductive effect higher is the inductive effect more is the dipole moment 
so now even next concept among this if i have to compare uh, the acidic strength of uh, your for this and what is it formic acid and acetic acid right so now in what what will i speak methyl group in this both the case this is methyl group this is electron releasing group methyl group is an electron releasing electron releasing group means which effect plus i effect when when it has plus i effect therefore acetic acid is weaker than formic acid means it keeps on donating see when you have uh, the, the certain pull in the uh, this one only the concept of inductive effect eff starts when something when you have plus i effect all the electron will be done releasing continuously that means the inductive effect def decreases so among these two what is this ch3 c o h double bond o the second one h c double bond o o h correct so now what will happen this will donate the electrons arrowhead from here this is donated to this correct so from here this is again donated to hydrogen it's meaningless isn't it right in this case and then you don't have any uh, uh, donating group so what is the concept here plus psi effect effect or electron releasing groups if they are present what will happen to the acidity acidity decreases okay this is a concept remember right what is this here in this case it is pka value is 4.76 here the pka value is 3.77 remember this so what is the concept here more of the alkyl groups higher uh, so more of the alkyl group the acidity will be lesser here there are no alkyl groups so that acidity will be more that's why see here pk is less smaller the pk more is acidity so let us come back and see plus i effect when is it shown that means when you have uh, electron releasing groups when you have electron releasing groups like methyl groups alkyl groups then automatically the acidity decreases you can see this from the pk value again i'm telling lower the pk value stronger is the acid this is a concept isn't it yes now let us see one more i'm applying the same concept with one more what is that relative acidic strength of chloroacetic acid and acetic acid right so what is this concept right so chloroacetic acid and acetic acid this it <coughs> so first important thing suppose if i have to take uh, like chloroacetic acid and acetic acid this it let me write that thing chloro what is chloroacetic acid it is chlorine ch2 C O H and double bond. This is chloroacetic acid. Now, uh, where will the electron cloud uh, this in? Uh, where will that start? This is from here because this is more electronegative. It will drag the electrons from here. Again, this will drag the electron density. Again, it will drag the electron density from here. So, this is chloroacetic acid. Done. So, acetic acid. Now, C H three C double bond O O H. Among these two. right this is electronegative in nature so automatically this will be more acidic in nature chloroacetic acid so this is a uh, greater acidic than acetic acid because this is electron releasing correct electron releasing this is electron withdrawing correct so the, when, when it is electron withdrawing group what effect is observed minus i effect is observed here what will happen plus i effect is observed in electron releasing group that is why this is more acidic so pka value for this is 2.86 now for this acetic acid is pka is 4.76 smaller the pka value stronger is the acid hope you have understood this so this is a concept please register this minus i effect electron withdrawing group acidity will be more acidity will be greater plus i effect electron releasing group acidity will be less so plus that let's see relative acidic strength of fluoro chloro bromo and iodo acetic acids right if this is a concept if you have this concept what should you remember so important thing is again the same thing uh, like electronegativity that concept isn't it right based on electronegativity first would be fluoroacetic acid would be stronger acid then chloroacetic acid then comes your bromoacetic acid then comes your iodoacetic acid this is the concept isn't it right so since the inductive effect decreases with in, uh, like if i have to speak in, in terms of distance that also we will do so remember based on the electronegativity or electron withdrawing group this is the order